Reliance Commercial Finance presents India SME Forum 2012. Find out the secrets of success in a series of seminars exclusively for smart entrepreneurs. Join India's biggest SME initiative to boost your business and celebrate SME achievers with India SME 100 Award. If I can say so. So please make sure that you are targeting the right, right VCs. Uh, make sure uh, that they are aligned. You know, a lot of investors say that you want to exit in three years, and to me it looks very, very tough for any SME to give a reasonable return in three years' time. Three years take to just make any project start working, etc. So make sure the investment horizon is consistent with your growth plans. Uh, and that brings to the question of exit. You know, a lot of SMEs. Don't really think too much about it, but exits are important for uh, venture capitalists. Uh, you know, venture capital, if I can put in some ways, you know, getting married with an intention to uh, diverse. So you have to think about it at the right at the beginning. What, what, how can I give exit to my investor? Typically, it is you know selling to other investors, which could be strategic. It could be financial investor, or sometimes it is also buyback. So I think those conditions have to be thought through right at the beginning. It has to be discussed with the VC guys. Uh, some people, you know, term sheet uh, in technical terms where you put all the conditions on which VC is entering. So it's not about money only. There are a lot of rights which VC saw, seek when they're investing, like information rights, exit rights, corporate governance rights. So make sure that you are aligned on that. Front. We have seen a lot of private capital investments go haywire because of lack of alignment between the promoter and the investor. You have to look for investors who can actually value. Them. You know, you know, it's been talked about by uh, Shrini earlier. Uh, you know, there are, for example, in SMEs also there are firms which do startups, there are firms which do early stage, there are firms which do growth capital. So see where do you fit in? Again, uh, there are firms. You will just sector focused fund, which is sector agnostic. Even in sector focused fund, you will find quite a few funds with some focusing on good business like us. There are quite a few funds focusing on education, the funds focused on healthcare, the funds focused on IT services, etc. See if you can find funds which are more, you know, which, are, which, which, which have investment philosophy in line with what you want to do. And because of that, you can actually get a lot of help from VCs during the investment period. Uh, as we talked about, most of the SMEs are one-man show. And you can't hire the tier one management, uh, management right from the day one. So VCs are a very important role in, uh, you know, in more like advisory capacity to get you talent, to get you uh, markets, to get you access to government schemes, to get you access to other financial investors and lenders which will be required over a period of time. So see VCs which can actually add value to you. It's not about just board meetings or quarterly reports. It is much more than that. And uh, you know it's up to you how you also what kind of help you want to extract from uh, from the VC guys. And again, it's very important when you are when you are diluting when you are doing a share agreement, set out those expectations right at the beginning. And I have seen that you know, if entrepreneurs see value uh, from the investors, uh, actually the it becomes very good and I have seen those kind of uh, investments doing wonderfully well. Uh, uh, last point, uh, I would like to talk about how uh, VCs evaluate uh, entrepreneurs. Uh, first and foremost, I think it's all about uh, management integrity, uh, management uh, transparency. Uh, you know, this, this, this is very, very important. We do a lot, we do invest a lot of time in doing integrity checks, in doing reference checks, you know, most of our deals are smaller towns. We go to those places, check from the community, you know, who knows the entrepreneur. So it's very important uh, uh, from a VC perspective. When it comes to financial, to be very honest, I haven't seen any balance sheet uh, which is due to the last digit. Uh, that's okay as long as you're transparent to your investors. You know, as we talked about, some personal expenses have been booked as corporate expenses, if there's cash leakage, if there's if there is, uh, you know, some issues with tax governance, etc., I think it's very important to be transparent to the investor. They should know what they're getting into. You know, if, if, if the issues are laid out right upfront, one can think of a solution. You know, we, we typically can talk about what are the corporate governance practices which are important before we come in, and we can talk about the practices which need to be covered once we enter. 
So I think transparency is key uh, to uh, build trust. Uh, secondly, uh, typically uh, in SMEs, uh, we, we want to see uh, uh, management intention to segregate ownership uh, with management. You know, because if you have to grow three times, five times, one single person cannot drive it. So we like entrepreneurs who are willing to delegate, who are willing to uh, you know hire help from outside, or who are willing to get the right board members who can support that kind of growth. That's very very important. Uh, on the business side, we of course look at uh, uh, entrepreneurs' ability to manage supply chain. Uh, I think that's very important. Openness to implement uh, ERPs, MI systems. These are extremely important. And so is rating. I think I'm very happy uh, what Broad told. And I can tell you, one of our industry companies, when they got rated, could reduce their cost of funding from a lender from 16% to something like 11%. So I think those, these, are, these are very good practices. If, if you if you are adopted or open to adopt these practices, uh, investors will see you in a very good light. Uh, and I think as last year, I think it's very important. I would again emphasize on it because that's where I think Indian private equity venture capital industry hasn't done too well is exits. You know, in SME in particular, since listing is always a question mark, whether you are willing to give exit to the investor, even if it means selling some of your shares, you know, there are some rights like drag along, tag along rights which we typically negotiate. So be sure uh, that you are consistent uh, with with what investors are thinking about and there are quite a few entrepreneurs who, who say that we are quite open to give controlling stage to a new investor or even sell out if we get the right value. So make sure that uh, you, you, you align your interest, you align your objectives with what investor is seeking for. Uh, with this I will conclude and I will be happy to answer questions after the, after, uh,